All right, so I thought I'd give you a quick little reminder example of fog and golf. Uh, if you need to find fog, that means the same thing as finding f of g of x. So what that means is you're actually going to be substituting in your g of x into f of x. So we're going to say f of, and we're actually going to use this x squared plus 4. That is going to go in for our x of our f function. So we're going to say, we're going to look at this x right here, and we're going to take this x out and we're going to plug x squared plus 4 in its place. So we say 2 times, we have x squared plus 4, Oops, that's four. And then you still have the minus three. So you simplify this. This gives you a two x squared plus eight minus three, which finally gives you the answer of two x squared plus five. So there is your f of g of x. Make sure you label, or at least your work is along with your answer, because otherwise, if you don't have your work, or at least you don't state it over here, the fog of x, or the f of g of x, and it has the work along with this, then you're going to lose a half point, because you're not labeling your work. All right, next one, we got to find g of f of x, which means just the sub other substitution, which means you're going to be plugging f of x into g. So if we want to plug this in here, da -da, we're going to be plugging that in for f of x. So, so I need to take out that f of x and plug in 2x minus 3 in its place. So what's that? 2x minus 3. All right, so let's do the substitution here. And this one's going to be a little bit more difficult because we are going to have to actually square the function, which, as some of you may remember, requires more than just squaring the 2x and squaring the negative 3. It is called foiling, my friends. Or if you remember the shortcut, then when you do the shortcut, you can take your first term, and you can take a 2x and you can square that. And that's going to give you a 4x squared. The middle term is going to be, take this 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 times 2x gives you a 12x. And then the third term, you have to take this negative 3 and you have to square that. So if you take that negative 3 and square that, that means you're going to get a plus 9. And don't forget your last four here, plus four. So then your final answer is 4x squared minus 12x plus 13. So there's a quick little review of the composition of functions when you are substituting, substituting keyword substituting, when you're substituting those uh, functions into each other.